After an excellent snorkeling excursion from Maofushi Island, I really got tired of the crowds. Maofushi is overdeveloped and overpacked with tourists. That's when I escaped to Guli Island. It has stunning white sand beaches, turquoise blue waters. Guli Island is a hidden gem. It's calm, it's relatively less crowded, and it's so charming. This is a perfect tropical paradise to unwind and relax and connect with the nature. Sometimes all we ever need is a quick stroll on a cozy island watching a stunning sunset. Join me as I explore the beautiful island of Gulhi in Maldives. So I stayed at Ayala Ocean View which costs around $90 per night and later in the vlog I'll show you the stunning view from my room. So I reached to Ayala Ocean Inc and uh, now I'm getting a massage before getting into my room. The room is not yet available. So first I'll get an oil massage like Balinese massage. Even after getting a Balinese massage for one hour, around 10 a.m., my room was still not available. This is the common dining area and you can also sit outside and order your food from Ayala. So this is your first glimpse at the local island of Gulhi. And that's the pier or from where I reached the hotel. And this is the hotel. Let me take you to the pier and show you how beautiful the ocean is. And there happens to be a lot of construction going on on this island. It gets really hot in the morning here. And this first half of the island is the public beach where the boat pier is and where the general public usually hang out. And bikinis are not allowed on this part. As my room is not ready, I'm walking to the beach. There's a tourist beach and I also want to give you a first look at the island. I'm exploring it myself for the first time. And there are some goose here. Here's the hotel. Right now, this is the beautiful beach. Yes. So the local island vibes. Totally cool with it. Look at that. It's sand roads all the way. There are really less number of cafes on this island and I just love it. And here's a football court on the island. Wow, football in paradise. That shouldn't be boring sport after all. And then I headed out to the Bikini Beach. Remember half of this island is Bikini Beach where you can just chill out, freak out and look at the beautiful way to the Bikini Beach. The moment I stepped right in front of the water, it just blew my mind. Wow man, these shades of turquoise blue waters and the white sand beaches are just so romantic. This is the famous I love Gulhi swing if you want to take some photos for Instagram. You should swim to it but the water is really shallow and transparent so it shouldn't be a problem. I am walking on the tourist beach or the bikini beach of Gulhi Island. This is a boat docking yard. Maybe they repair boats or they make them here. So it's right on the Bikini Beach on one end of that.
can see how crystal clear the water is and it's also damn cold so you better get out get some pair of clothes when you come to the bikini beach of Kuli Island So right near this boatyard, there's a hidden viewpoint which I'll take you to and you'll be amazed at this. I think this is one of the best viewpoints in Gulhi. Let me show you how crazy it is. This looks like it's damaged in a storm or something. But you know, it's one of the best shades of water I've ever seen in my life, period. You see these birds here on these rocks? They are all fishing because the water is so crystal clear they can spot fish with ease and catch them for the next meal. Also near this viewpoint there are tiny baby crabs or hatchlings so watch your step out when you are exploring this side of the Bikini Beach on Gully Island. So that's a quick tour of the Bikini Beach in Gully Island. And now I'll try to go to my hotel and see if I can get my check-in now. My room is ready but I'm really starving so I have the food here. I'm having dal rice and I'm also having lime soda. Damn fresh. This is the restaurant and this is my room. Awesome. A comfy bed for me and a place to store all my things. I think there's also a safe. There's also a safe there and some water and some complimentary and chargeable stuff like they have some chocolate coffee and all that. But rooms in Maldives are not about the rooms themselves. It's about the views. Let me show you. How beautiful and picture perfect the view is from my room. Just look at that. <laughs> wow. Just out of my hotel window, I get this view. Can you believe that this is the view from my room? How crazy is that? Wow. I'm really tired now, so I'll mostly sleep for the most of the day. Also right in front of my room, which is just on the opposite side, you have this little view deck where you can sit and chill. That's the port by the way. And every evening, you just hear the sounds of birds chirping, namas and sea breeze. And this is how you recharge your soul on an island getaway. Hi, so I just went out, took a quick stroll around the whole island. By foot, it usually takes like 10 minutes and also found out that the conversion rate from dollar to rufia, which is the local currency in Maldives, 
on this island especially in my hotel is 15.38 whereas in mafushi they were charging more so they were taking for a dollar they were asking like 16.5 rupee 15.38 is official dollar to rupee conversion in case you were wondering and since i have a rupee cash in hand that's really beneficial to me so this whole island of gulhi is really small it's really cozy and it's really calm as well less touristy than mafushi and it's just like 10 minutes speed boat ride away from mafushi hey here's a pro travel hack wherever you're going always carry your world travel adapter kit i bought this in dubai my indian plug was working in the previous island of mafushi especially in arena hotels but here it was not so i had to use another adapter maybe this is european or us based adapter and look what i got i just went to a local department store and got this 45 rupee deodorant i don't know which brand it is but i'm going to try it out so 45 rupee is roughly around 3 dollars and also i got this wix um i think it's around 18 rupee or something and for the 2 rupee change <laughs> i got uh, two cute little chocolates each one 1 rupee <laughs> so that's kind of funny and they have this weird symbols also the wifi speeds in this hotel ayala ocean view look at that it's pretty crazy so this is my dinner at ayala this is hot chocolate french fries dal and rice so cheese omelet some fruits bread and oats with milk and tea of course my wages it's so, a little tiny space that they have for breakfast not too much of selection but yeah decent job so i have this bad wound on my feet and now i'm going to local clinic in gulhi island to get it fixed so these are the places where locals live most of them are really cozy these are all houses you can see tv dish antenna and all that it's a really peaceful way of life The island is very small. It usually takes 10 to 15 minutes to walk from one corner to the other. And on this side of the island, there are few more resorts and restaurants by the beach. And see those two sides? One side is the end of public beach. The other side marks the beginning. And this is the magistrate, and right next to it is where you have the Gulhi clinic. Now it's just for first aids, not for major treatments. Let me take you there. my black pressure and uh, pulse and all that and now uh, go with the doctor so i got dressing for my wound that is a super sweet guy from egypt and uh, it totally costed me around 260 rupee now i'm going to get the medicines prescribed for the wound it's such a cozy clinic it's just for first aid not for major operations or anything also when you're in ayala hotel try their coffee maker you just put this into this one and add some water and boil it for some time and it basically tastes amazing so if you're in ayala ocean view definitely try it out I'm leaving Gulhi Island and I'm hopping on to another island but before I hop on to that I first reach Male and the hotel arranged the transportation to Male airport from which I'll be going to an amazing island probably one of the best islands if not the best island in Maldives called Fulidu I'll go there give you a sneak peek of it and have a ton to explore there can't wait to show you how amazing it is 
बट इट्स टाइम टू से गुड बाय टू गुल So the ferry just dropped me at Male Airport. Now I need to go back to the island. I need to catch another ferry or a boat. I tried asking a direct transfer from Gulhi to Fulidu, but it was not available. So this is the way if it is not available. Also, it depends on the popularity of the island. If it's a smaller island, they usually don't have direct transfers to other islands. If it's a bigger one like Mafushi, they definitely would have had it. I struggled to get speedboat for about 2 to 3 hours finally somehow made it into the speedboat it was a choppy ride but then i went to one of the most beautiful if not the most beautiful local islands in maldives fulidu